Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Soma. Before we get started on the actual play, I kind of wanted to go over what I believe to be the timeline of the game so far. Uh, I noticed a couple of dates in uh, the game, in emails and such, uh, when I was uh, editing uh, my previous play. Um, I was trying to figure out what day the accident happened and um, what day today is, meaning the day that uh, Simon goes to the doctor to get the brain scan. But let's start with uh, his dream first, because that's how the game starts. Uh, the very first thing that happens when you start the game is you kind of um, look in on a dream he's having. You don't realize it's a dream, of course, until he wakes up. But uh, the thing that confused me here in the dream is that he's driving the car and the girl, Ashley, is riding with him. And she says, hey, you're bleeding. And he says, oh, that's fine. My brain does that ever since the accident. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Which led me to believe that he had an accident, a brain injury, before the car accident that killed Ashley. And then as the dream progresses, you see that the accident happens. So I was left thinking, did he have an accident before this accident? But if you uh, look at this newspaper clipping, uh, it talks about the accident, and in this newspaper clipping, uh, it actually says that the accident left him with brain damage. So this would lead one to believe that it is the accident that caused his brain injury. So that leaves the dream uh, sequence a little confusing. I'm not real sure why they did that or if I'm just interpreting things wrong. Uh, as far as the date of the accident, if you look on the back of this newspaper clipping, um, you'll see that this was on um, April the 10th, and the news story says that the accident happened yesterday. So April 9th was the date of his accident. Then if you check out his email, you'll see that uh, he received an email from uh, Dr. Aaron Peake about his headaches on April 28th. So he was uh, receiving treatment for the uh, brain injury he received in the accident. And then if you look at this email from David Munshi uh, about the brain scan, that takes place on um, April 30th. Then he has this email here, this draft that he forgot to send to Jesse, uh, that was uh, dated May 1st, which says that his appointment is tomorrow which would mean the date of his doctor appointment, May 2nd, 2015. So that timeline, timeline fits together pretty well uh, until you look at this mail that he has here by his front door. Uh, this is a letter that is addressed to him, and if I'm reading this post date correctly, it looks like it says June 6th to me. So I'm not sure if this is like, a, I don't see a year on it, but is this just a really old piece of mail left over from last year that's been sitting on his, you know, this table by his door all this time? Or am I reading this wrong? I don't know. I don't know if this means anything. Probably doesn't, but it's just something that I found odd. And um, I just wanted to share that with you guys before we get started. So uh, with the little timeline out of the way there, um, brain scan taking place on May 2nd, 2015. Uh, let's dive back into the gameplay. Alright, so I've upped the gamma to its maximum height. Uh, the reason I did that is because when I uh, edited, edited the video and rendered the video and then posted it on YouTube, it was super dark. Like, looking at my screen right now, I'm in a fairly bright room and I can see everything just fine. But uh, the videos that I recorded in the last play session were really, really dark. I tried to clean them up a bit. So hopefully you can see what's going on, but uh, I upped the gamma. Hopefully, hopefully that'll help some. Uh, so I'm excited to be back in here playing um, Soma. Uh, this game, I played it a couple days ago and it has stuck with me since then. And, and I love it when a game does that. I love it when I think about the game at work or, you know, when I'm driving my car or something like that. And I can't wait to get back into it. So I'm 
I'm excited to get back into it, and I'm excited that you've decided to join me. Um, so I don't know where we are. Some kind of robot dock or something. Uh, there's something on the ground over there that I don't know what it is, and we're currently crouching, so I'm going to go ahead and stand up like a man. Um, there is a, a door over here, right there, and there's one of those pneumatic seals on it. But I hesitate to go in that door because when we get close to it... Oh, oh, okay, that was... Okay, that was even worse than I thought. Okay, I didn't think... Oh, shit. I didn't think that was going to happen. I, I just wanted to show you that if we got close to the door, it would... Um... Oh, shit. We'd get that little... Um... Oh, I don't even know what to call it. Screen distor distortion thing. That happens when we're close to whatever it is, these robots or whatever. Yikes, okay. Alright, so that was that was scary. We're not going that way. We are not going that way. Electric hazard. This is locked, nothing we could do about that. So, something on the ground here. So we got a bit of an electrical issue here. Hmm. It's looking kind of scary, really. So here's a fire extinguisher we could pick up. Uh, so this looks like a door switch. Door opens and closes automatically, except for now. Uh, does that is that supposed to mean wet floor? Because it doesn't look wet. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, can I open this? Boy, you have to get your mouse just in the right... Oh, no, right here. Oh, oh, what the... Huh? Oh, this is a trash bin. Oh, pfft. So I can clo open and close the lid. Big deal. Okay, I hear movement. Something's going on over here to the right. Another, um... Fire extinguisher. So, to our left, service station, storage, and robot dock. Oh, what's this? I, I, I missed this. Okay, this looks like another one of those, maybe, communications things, maybe? This... It's damaged. That's just plain scary looking. And sounding. Okay. So, thermal plant would be straight ahead if we could get through this gate. We cannot. Break room is this way. We've already been in the break room. And, um, this gate here is also chained up, so we can't get through here. Oh, boy. Uh, that is also the way to the machine hangar and the tech depot. Here is the observation tower, the observation tunnel, and security. So let's start heading this way. It's kind of really the only way we could go right now. So we're going to go down through here. Swipe Omni tool. What? Oh no. Oh man, I haven't found the Omni tool yet. Oh crap. Um, so this is, this is what I'm worried about. I'm worried that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna recognize the Omni tool. Because, there, see, there's all kinds of things in this game that you could pick up. Oh, oh son shit. of a mother. Okay, that hurts. Oh, that is water right there on the ground. Ah. Fuck. Okay. So I'm afraid that I've already seen the um, Omni-Tool, but I didn't recognize it. That's what I'm afraid of. Because like I was going to say, there are just a lot of random things you could pick up in the game. And um, if, um, I don't know. Oh gosh. So I wonder if this is now safe to go through. I'm wondering it might be. Yeah, now we're supposed to go through here, which is scary as hell. 
because we you saw what just happened there. So let's take this down. Oh gosh, I don't like this at all. Get this out of the way. Oh wait a minute. I didn't see this. What is this? Is this just just nothing? All right, this is nothing. Maybe just a little nook to hide in. Okay. All right, we're gonna enter here slowly and quietly. There's some damage going on over there on the wall. So, more stuff dripping. Oh no, is that a body over there? Right there, is that a body? So, if that robot or whatever the hell it was came in here, I'm not sure where it went. Because I don't see an exit from this room, and that's making me very, very nervous. Yes, sir, it is. So, I'm waiting for the jump scare here. Omni tool. Okay, maybe there's an Omni tool on that desk over there. So it looks like there's some shirts. I think that is a body over there, isn't it? I think. Where'd the where'd the robot or whatever the hell it is? Where did it go? Yes. Okay. So, okay, that's what I wanted to see. Um my cursor does change to something else when something is important. Like, this is just something I could pick up. Doesn't mean anything. I could just pick it up. Right? This cursor changes. I actually pick that up. So now we've got the Omni tool. This is good news. Use tab to see your inventory. Okay, Omni tool. Alright. Okay. So just some other random stuff here and that is a body without a head it would seem so I do not know where this robot or whatever the hell it is I don't know where it went I don't know if this is it and it just like kind of died here or crashed here I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay. I don't know if it's worth looking through this stuff. I don't know if there's anything... If I'm going to find anything useful. There's that again. Yeah, I keep hearing sounds. Pretty scary sounds. Okay, so now I have the Omni tool. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go back to this room that we started in. Because it was like an Omni tool bench there, and I want to go look at it. Ooh, there's a door here. Maybe this is where the robot went. Maybe it went through here. Yeah. Oh, and there's also a maintenance tunnel. I guess it could have gone through there. Maybe. I don't know how big it is. All right, just another, just a quick scan here to see if there's anything I need. Okay, all right, let's go back out here. F5 does not save the game, sadly. Now I'm kind of just walking back here. Oh no. What happened down there? What happened? What just happened? There was a light on. And then it got dark. Was there a door open that just shut? Is that what just happened? Because I wanted to go back into the room we started in. Because like I said, there was some kind of workbench there. It looked like it was for Omni tools. Let's see if I can get back over here. Um, very nervous. 
that we definitely saw movement. There was a light. Looked like a door opened and then shut, maybe. Well, let's go in here. Alright. Here we go. Omni tool. Okay. AI helper Jane. Alright. What's this all about? Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Okay. Let's look at this. System status. Three progress scan SJ. Oddly enough, our initials are SJ. Our name is Simon Jarrett. Omni tool and inventory. Let's look at system status. Upsilon 71857. Run setup warning. Remote access denied. Warning servers offline. Warning main power suspended. Initiate WAU setup. Program unreliable denied. Emergency senti emergency systems. Thirteen days remaining. Hmm. Uh oh my gosh! There's our name right there. Oh no! Look at this. Subject Simon Jarrett. Terminal scan. David Munchie. Yep, that's the guy who did it. Toronto. Huh. Oh. Hey, Omni Tool, Manage Tool Chip, Manage Cortex Chip, Unlock Toolbox Orientation. Manage Tool Chip. Welcome back, Louise Miron, Upsilon. Your Omni Tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note, with, note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a toolchip and run an update. Toolchip not inserted. Okay. Cortex chip. Welcome back, Louise Miron. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a custom Cortex chip. You are currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence, Helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Okay. Unlock toolbox. Alright, the toolbox is unlocked. I hear it to my left. Orientation. I know they told oh. you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Felt the need to look behind me. Alright, so we open the toolbox. We have a chip. Level 3, it says. Okay. Alright. Whoa. Um, level three. Do they all say level three on them? Level three. Level three. Okay, maybe they're all the same thing. Let's pick up our Omni tool. Tool chip found. Oh, okay. All right. I guess we put the tool chip on it. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, now I need to update it. Omni tool. Tool chip. Update. Let's see. 
It's in perfect condition and fitted with a tool chip. Run an update to confirm the FST kit installation in the latest security ciphers. Tool chip HAITT 7. Update. Okay. Tool chip updated. Please remove. Updated. Okay. All right. Okay. Level three. All right. See what's over here. 